Bueno, muy buenas tardes, les damos la bienvenida a nuestro primer detrás del telón de la temporada lírica. Estamos inaugurando hoy, partiendo por las damas, por supuesto, la soprano Dina Kuznetsova, nacida en Moscú. Un aplauso para ella, por supuesto. Dina es la protagonista de la ópera, interpreta a Katia Cabanova en este, en este drama bastante complicado de, de sentimientos reprimidos, de adulterio, de pasiones que han sido reprimidas y que en algún momento van a tener que ser expresadas. Ella tiene una carrera internacional muy importante. Eh, en, en, en los años recientes, por ejemplo, ha estado cantando en el Teatro Metropolitan, el Metropolitan Opera House de Nueva York, uno de los teatros más importantes del mundo. De hecho, para quienes vieron la transmisión del año pasado en HD de Francesca da Rimini, ella también aparecía en uno de los roles del elenco. Y además eh, ha sido eh, dirigida por maestros como Antonio Papano en el Covent Garden de Londres o por Daniel Barenboim en la Ópera de Berlín. Así que este es su debut en el Teatro Municipal con un rol muy importante. Así que nuevamente un aplauso para ella, por favor. Muchas gracias por venir, es un gran placer estar acá. En inglés, si quieres, puedo traducir. Sí. Ok, inglés o ruso. Sería un poco difícil. Así que... If I understand correctly, the question was um, what makes Katya such a special heroine? Yeah, or... such a fascinating uh, heroine for you. For you as a soprano, as a singer. I mean, you know. <laughs> Well, I think there is, uh, oh, there's so many things, you know, I frankly, I sort of dreamed of uh, singing this opera for many years, you know, I just, I love Janáček, I truly, truly love the composer, you know, I, I love his musical language. And es es and para ella, dice, perdón, but, sorry, please. dice que es un honor cantar esta ópera, que para ella siempre ha sido un sueño cantarla por la música y que las óperas de Janáček le, le interesan mucho y particularmente este personaje. And I was actually talking to myself because I've, I've not listened to it a lot, just I just heard it you know, and I thought, oh, that is so intense and it's so beautiful and it's so unusual how it goes from uh, um, sort of this, you know, emotional, accessible melodies to this almost new 20th, well, not almost, new 20th century language and then back and how, you know, how he weaves, how Janáček weaves those two musical languages and how interesting it is. Right, and then of course right now it's fascinating, not only because we have a fantastic, you know, fantastic team and I'm very honored to be here. Está muy honrada de estar aquí porque dice que es un equipo fantástico. But also... Um, <laughs> <laughs> also that... Um, He, he, Janáček, wrote it sort of so psychologically interesting and sort of so going from one thought to the other that, that I, I'm thinking about it every day and I think it's almost like I was talking, t telling uh, Constantine, it's almost like I'm thinking of a new opera every day. You ch change something and the whole accent change and the whole sort of meaning of the opera changes. And so there's now we are in the final week or weekend two days <laughs> and uh, you know I'm looking forward to sort of settling inside myself you know and delivering this one um, one performance because right now I'm still processing the, the language and the drama and it's it's very inter it's just interesting it's interesting to And of course, it's also it does it does go back to the you know, to, to to Russian roots because it's very often verbatim from the play. So it's 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 I'm sure for Constantine as well sort of hits us back with our, our high school days you know, when we started. Es, es mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Gracias. Un aplauso también para ella. Um, Dina, the maestro was saying something like uh, you say before that uh, this uh, you are uh, discovering every day this opera with the perform the rehearsals. So you told us that you are uh, now discovering and finding your own emotions for this role. What is until now before the before the premiere uh, the most difficult uh, thing in the role? Maybe vocally or as a, an actress. You know, le le pregunté qué es lo más difícil en la parte vocal y teatral, ya que está descubriendo el papel de a poco. Mm -hmm. Honestly, because it's written, as Constantine says, it's written, it's, it's written so intricately, so, so 
truthfully too. The most difficult thing is to, f to be true to this ever-changing emotion in time. Like not, you know, not to take a little bit and you feel it, or a little bit and you know what's going on, but, but this continuity of, of this constant emotion going, you know, because, it's, because he's such a genius writer, every pause has a meaning. Mm -hmm. And until you feel that every pause with something which is going on inside, you're, you're not complete. So that's, 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 that's a challenge, and it's also the joy of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because I think, I, think the whole I think the whole crew and the whole cast, I mean, we, we all are striving to sort of make it emotionally truthful. I think that's, that's the... Um, the ultimate, you know, ultimate goal of everybody. Involved. Todo en el elenco están tratando de lograr la mayor verdad emocional con esta ópera. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Gracias. Hola, mi nombre es Javiera Menéndez. Mi pregunta es para Dina. Oy, um, thank you. You know, it's it's really it's very interesting question, and um, I have to say, I'm thinking about that myself pretty much all the time right now. So I think you, one doesn't necessarily, I mean, repression happens. That's what happens to the character. That's what happens to Katya. She herself is something completely different. You know, she is herself a dreamer, an idealist, somebody who had a um, wonderful childhood, was much loved, and always that she starts basically her second entrance the first long entrance she says how she would wish to fly like a bird and uh, you can interpret it as societal repression for sure I mean, but but also it's her it's it's who i am you know this is who she is she wants this freedom and happiness and when she recalls going to church and in church instead of being released from everything and being free and i think that's 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 her that's her deep idealistic core so i think my goal maybe is to actually be that and then what happens to me is what happens um so i myself i'm oh, sorry the I... character the, 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 am i clear or not so much no, may i translate no. <laughs> <laughs> bueno Oh, and about suicide, I really don't have an answer. Because, y sobre el tema del suicidio, um, no tiene una respuesta definitiva, ¿por qué? Because I really do not think the person that she is could have survived in the situation that she was given at the end. I don't, I think if she didn't jump into the river, she would have, you know, I don't know, just died mm. somehow, you know? I don't think, I think after what Konstantin was talking about, again, this sort of idealism and wanting to live life to its fullest, once she, you know, she experienced that for whatever, 10 days, and that was taken away, I don't think she can live, she cannot go back. She just, she cannot. I mean, she, she was barely, she was barely holding on even without falling in love, you know, she was barely holding on to the, to constantly having to sort of kill your soul a little bit, you know, every day. And uh, once the love happened, I, 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 think she, she's I think maybe her only chance would have been had, you know, had her lover been, you know, a different person and had taken, her, you know, taken her with her with him but he didn't so she didn't <laughs> and the last thing you see it is so complicated i truly it's it's a very complicated answer. realmente es una pregunta muy um, complicada because even then i'm not sure because i don't know again being an idealist how she would live with uh, with herself you know with once once because she 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 thinks in very black and white terms, you know, she, she very right and wrong, and uh, I don't know, I think life for her would have been very difficult either mm -hmm. way. So. Un aplauso. Mm -hmm.